what is going on YouTube so in today's video I'm going to show you how to <laughs> put line on a spinning reel um, we're going to be using the ugly stick GX2 the optics uh, I can't remember the brand of it but I will figure it out here in a minute and the line we're going to use is Oh, spider wire, I do believe it is 30 pound braid. So, uh, let's get into it. Okay, and here is the reel that we will be uh, spooling up with line. It's the Optics 40. Let's see if I can get a brand because I forget. I think it's, uh, uh, oh well, that's not important. So, the reason I'm changing this line is. Because do you see how much line is missing off of there? That's quite a bit. So what we need to do is we need to cut whatever you have off. So in this case it will be a uh, worm harness. So let me go ahead and show that to you. Okay, now that we got it untangled, this is what I have. So first of all, you need to start by cutting whatever you have on there off. So just pull your drag. And we are going to take our multi-tool and we're going to cut it right there. So next, all you're going to have to do is flip your bail and just start taking offline. And uh, I will speed this up. Alright, this is what we're going to be working with. Spider wire, easy braid, 30 pound. 30 pound, 300 yards. Now let's see what it costs for. 200. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so 30 pounds not on the reel. So I know where to stop. You're going to want to have about that much from the actual edge of the reel. So what you're going to do is peel back this. You don't need this just yet. That's for the end of the video. So what you're going to want to do is... You're going to take this, and it's a lot easier if you do it with two people, but right now I'm just a one man. So, let's put that up there for now. You're going to just feed it through the eyelids. Okay, let me go back up here and let some line loose. We'll have it down there. And you want to make sure when you're spooling, it's coming off the top. 
So we'll just leave that right there and hopefully it'll come off the top. Uh. Oh, and if you guys are doing this outside, please be responsible of your string. We don't want it in our waterways. <clears throat> so once you get down here, you're going to wrap it around and just knot it. What I normally do is I take uh, what I normally do is I just wrap it like this and then like that. So, oh, I forgot to, uh, you got to lick braid before you knot it. So we'll get down there, wet your fingers and just rub it all over that knot and then pull. And now you're ready to cut the excess. Braid is very hard to cut. Uh, it's not like mono or anything like that where you can just cut it with your teeth. And then you're going to flip this bale back. And make sure that it's on this knob. And now you're just ready. If you're doing it one man, I, su I suggest uh, putting some tension on it. Now you're just ready to put line on it. And notice how I'm also holding the line with my hand. That's putting some tension on it because I don't have a second person. And this will also be uh, sped up for you guys. Almost there. All right, I think that's good. All right, so can you? Are you guys able to see what I'm talking about? How I mean, you don't want to get uh, so close to that edge. That is about perfect. You could probably go a couple more times. Yeah, that's about. That's good right there. Yeah. So what you're going to want to do next is come over here and cut you cut you off the line. Mm, that right there is good. And then you're going to cut it here at the spool. Remember, you're going to need scissors or a multi-tool. Like I said, braided is very hard to work with, uh, cutting wise. So now that white piece is going to come into to play. And that is how you spool a spinning reel. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys back here next time. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. See you later, everybody.